Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. In this video, we're going to analyze the uh, uh, electronic throttle TPS, um, it's usually a dual TPS throttle position sensors. Now, um, uh, electronic throttles are pretty much found um, in 100% of uh, vehicles. Um, nowadays you know there's there's no um, throttle cable anymore and we're going to use for uh, um, for our testing we're going to use two pieces of equipment uh, we're going to use the blue voltage and the electro throttle actuators uh, the uh, blue voltage is pretty much um, it, it gives you five volt reference um, um, regulated and ground uh, it also gives you eight volt reference and it'll give it'll give you a speed sensor or a crank sensor or cam sensor whichever uh, and, and we're also going to use the throttle actuator to be able to actuate the throttle. Before we go any further, we're going to just very quick a analyze, you know, the um, uh, electro throttle uh, at the inside, uh, especially the um, the circuit side. Uh, as you can see on screen, uh, there's uh, two sources of problems. Uh, one is the actual contact uh, to the motor, and um, in which case it they tend to develop uh, these motors are pretty tough but they do tend to develop a little bit of carbon on on the contact and causing all kinds of problems uh, most uh, there's a lot of uh, companies now producing uh, these sensors um, the component the, ele the electronics for the inside so you can actually fix them uh, that's one and the other side is the actual throttle position of the contact uh, the tracks as you can see uh, to the left of, 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 of the screen now these tracks uh, uh, tend to develop like any throttle position sensor or potentiometer they tend to uh, develop uh, blind spots um, now what it is is they're variable variable resistors that's pretty much it you know and uh, there's not much you could do about the blind spots there's nothing to repair once that happens you have to replace the the element as you what, what you see right now uh, again a lot of the companies are uh, producing uh, uh, replacements of uh, throttle position sensor for the inside so you can actually replace them or repair them um, otherwise you know how would um, how would these uh, companies like uh, a1 Cardone uh, uh, do uh, um, repairs on these equipment so it is doable it is replaceable it is uh, repairable you might not be able to find parts for all of them uh, but for the time being uh, there's a lot of units that are actually repairable last the um, the uh, car uh, the motor uh, contacts that you see here uh, they um, they're, they're fairly fairly straightforward uh, you can clean them uh, if there is any issues uh, with the contacts or with the conduits that uh, you see the, the the traces you can actually repair them put a wire solder a wire whatever you have to do uh, but there that's not the the biggest uh, issue uh, with uh, electronic throttles as you can see here the uh, blue voltage uh, it's a piece of equipment that actually produces a uh, a specific voltage. In this case, five volts. You could use the, the some some throttle position sensors are eight volt reference. Uh, very few of them, but there are some of them. So, but regardless, you know, it'll give you ground five five volts, eight volts, and it'll give you a uh, crank si signal, which you can use for wheel speed sensors, cam sensors, crank uh, crank sensor signals. Uh, but that's besides you that that's not the, the purpose of this video so again the blue voltage uh, it's a unit that's uh, used uh, for to test these uh, throttle position sensors now the blue voltage can also be used to test all kinds of uh, feedback sensors you know uh, so it doesn't the, the, like a uh, variable EGR and what have you so it is not only for throttle position sensors next then we see the uh, electro throttle uh, actuation unit uh, there's got to be a way to um, um, uh, actuate the throttle otherwise how are you going to test the throttle position sensor now you may maybe think well maybe you could do this with a car by stepping on the on the throttle uh, it is doable by you stepping on the throttle on some cars uh, it may not be doable on, on um, uh, for what you want to test you, you need a unit that can actually open and close the throttle as you need it uh, you cannot do it um, uh, and another thing is that going back to the blue voltage you may be thinking that you could do a uh, ohm out uh, or do a resistant test that's no good the, uh, a multimeter uh, outputs um, millivolts very tiny voltage uh, which 
it's not going to stress out the throttle position sensor and oftentimes it's not even going to pick up a blind spot on the TPS. And again, the, the electro throttle units, uh, it's got a couple of features. One of them is the, uh, it's got a polarity um, uh, switch, but the main thing is that it actuates the throttle very slowly, which is exactly what you need, as you can, you'll see further later on, on on the video. And it also has a specific uh, um, setting for, um, for rebuilders so that it'll, it'll actuate the throttle on and off continuously you, as you'll see later on. On screen now is a typical uh, the outputs for a for a almost any throttle position sensor has these. Uh, it may have an extra throttle position sensor. Some of them have three TPSs inside. So as you can see you have the ETC, uh, the um, electro throttle motor. Okay that's uh, positive and negative. The unit, uh, the electro throttle unit has a, a, a polarity switch to flip it in case you're closing the throttle rather than opening the throttle. If you see that, they flip the switch and you don't have to, you don't have to flip the leads. Uh, then you're going to see the signal, the two signal, this is a dual TPS uh, unit, the two signal wires, um, which it's pretty much straightforward. Channel one is connected to one and you'll see it later on. I'll, I'll show you how to do it. Uh, and, then, um, and then you're going to have the, uh, the reference, the T throttle position sensor reference, a 5 volt reference and the ground. Okay, so it, that's pretty straightforward. You're just going to take the signal, the, the output of, um, on, on the signal um, wires, the si signal leads that you see here. Here's a basic unit connected, as you can see. And then um, very quick, let's analyze uh, the connectors, uh, the connection, how we do it. So again, we have the electro throttle connected to the motor, uh, the two pins for the motor. Then we have channels one and two connected to the, up, the two signal outputs. It doesn't really matter. So regardless, you know, just connect them, then that's it. You're going to see on screen that they're, they're not, they're inversely proportional. So as one goes up, the other one goes down. So as the throttle position, as, as you actuate the throttle, um, the units for redundancy, that's, that's the way it's done. One goes high and low, and the other one goes low and high. And then next, you're going to see the uh, scope ground uh, lead, and this is pretty much to ground the scope you could just go straight to the battery but I strongly so I recommend that you go uh, straight to the ground for from the uh, blue voltage uh, that way uh, you bypass any issues uh, with uh, with any other ground problems that you might have and then uh, next is the last which is the, uh, the yellow uh, as you can see here it's a, it's a 5 volt reference and this is going to feed uh, both um, uh, throttle position sensor. It's got so it's pretty much a 5 volt uh, reference and a ground, and it's going to have two outputs, it's, uh, which is for redundancy. In case one goes bad, you still have the other one. Following, uh, we can see how the uh, the actual signal uh, looks like on the uh, graphing multimeter as you actuate the the throttle with the electro throttle. Um, again, you're looking for a blind spot. Um, we're going to show you what a blind spot looks like from a, a known uh, faulty uh, throttle position sensor that I took mm, a while back. Uh, so anyhow, uh, this is what it looks like. As you, as you, if you look at it, it, it they're inverting uh, um, signals. One goes up, the other one goes down, uh, and it's easier to see that way. If, if they're both going up, then you won't be, will not be able to see it. But having said that. Uh, it, it is done for redundancy so that if uh, you lose one throttle position sensor, you still have the other one. Oftentimes, uh, it is recommended that you mess around with the uh, uh, with the time uh, the time um, uh, measurement so that you change from 20 seconds to 10 seconds. Uh, probably two seconds is uh, the two seconds sweep is probably better uh, if you really want to zero in uh, on the signal. And that's just that if you if you're if you're measuring uh, m more time uh, in the same so if the sweep it's uh, higher you you're not going to be able might, might not be able to ca uh, cap uh, capture the uh, uh, certain glitches that are very 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 fast so again what you would do uh, as you see on screen that's uh, you uh, go into the lower um, settings and you go into uh, as again two two seconds is probably good one second is maybe pushing it you may be able to do it and maybe able to go um, and do the whole sweep um, again you don't want to do it too fast otherwise you're not going to be able to um, uh, capture the, the the glitch the blind spot here we see what a uh, what an actual blind spot looks like 
Um, and this is perfect because it, this particular throttle position sensor was giving you, uh, uh, it was giving me all kinds of problems. So one is the, th that uh, on the yellow trace, um, that's probably channel one, uh, you see that glitch going up, that, that's a typical, and the other one is the actual blind spot further down, which is the flat spot that you see um, on the signal. And that it's uh, very common, you know, on throttle position sensors, and it causes all kinds of problems, drivability issues. Uh, even the the transmission may not shift properly because it uses the throttle position sensor as a main input for shifting. So again, this is what a blind spot looks like. Then if you um, uh, set the sweep uh, to uh, a two-second sweep, it, it's even it's harder to capture to capture the signal, uh, but it, then it's but, it's but it's more accurate. You'll be able to uh, zero in on specific issues with a uh, with a throttle position sensor. This is uh, uh, pretty typical of any throttle position sensor when you're testing. So again, uh, if you can do it, uh, you can also uh, record uh, the signal and then go back to it for further analysis later on if you want. Fi uh, finally, quickly, I'll show you the setting that we have on the electro throttle. Uh, which is a it's it's very useful for rebuilders or anybody that wants to uh, um, actuate the throttle on and off continuously for a while you could just leave it there but for say half an hour uh, sometimes as you uh, and even I even have uh, customers who uh, they actually go in with a heat gun and they heat up the the, uh, the throttle position sensor a little bit to simulate uh, issues you know uh, and these are vehicles that are they just don't know what to do anymore you know this uh, it's a last uh, resort uh, but the the point is that, that the electro throttle has that setting uh, to open and close the throttle continuously and be able to uh, uh, wiggle the wires and do whatever you have to do or heat the the the, the unit uh, so that whatever issues uh, they just pop up you know with the stress so with these two units the blue voltage and the electro throttle it's uh, fairly uh, straightforward to test almost uh, any uh, throttle, um, electronic throttle uh, unit, uh, both the motor and the electronic throttle position sensors inside, built inside this unit. Uh, thank you for watching and enjoy. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on hands video, and how to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge. Learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.